Hi guys, today we are going to see how to implement piece transition in Next.js 14 using Framework Motion. So firstly, we will create an empty Next.js project using this command. I will go to my terminal, paste this command and create a my app 3 with TypeScript, Tailwind and ESLint. We are not going to use SRC. We are going to use App Router. No. This will create an empty Next.js project for us. So, what we have is a default Next.js project with a layout and a page. So, what I will do is I will create a basic app for it so we can test our transitions. So what I will do is I will just create some components here. I will create a folder called components which will have a header .tsx. We will add a header here. Should have a nav bar. We'll add a list here. It should have a list. Let's add some links, which will be coming from next link. We will add a path for whom we will have a slash. We'll call it home. I will save it, duplicate it. And there will be a path called about, or maybe contact. Just add contact, and I will add about. Let's use it inside our layout file which only have children as of now let's just have header here import it yes so we need to create those routes also let's close it and create some routes so firstly we will create a route called about which will have a file called page TSX will have a function counters which will return a div called about us let's close it create another round called contact new file called page.tsx I will export a function from here called contact alternative shall say contact us okay so think this should work let's try to run our project no. okay firstly we need to navigate to our project I have three Let's try to run this. Let's check our project. We need to remove this template. Okay, I will just go here. 
can remove everything from here. I will add it over here also. It says home page. Yes, let's add some styling so we can see them better. Uh, we'll just give it a class name of flex and cap of uh, six. Right. Let's give some styling to our children. We just added it here. Maybe a class name without height. No, I will give it a height of 96 and width of 96 as well. Let's just give it a background off. So we'll be able to see. Yeah. Now let's navigate. And since it's working, let's add film motion so we can add transition to it. Need to install film motion. Let's copy it. Open a terminal. Install frame in motion. So after installing frame motion, we need to create a transition component. So go to app route, create a new file called template.psx template.psx. Make sure to use use client over because we are going to use free no motion we're going to import motion oh. motion to final motion right let's export a function from here it's for function oh, which will be called template maybe let's just call it template which will have children let's write the transition first then we'll accept children return will use a motion there okay let's add some animation here firstly we'll have initially it should be at y okay. Y20 yes okay I'll start with Y20 you can adjust it according to your needs with opacity of 0 first it will be invisible so we'll need to animate it to visible uh, we'll give it Y of 0 and then opacity of 1 so it will be visible Maybe add an ease and transition. Let's add transition here. Now transition will be nice. Ease in. Okay. Ease in for what fine. Let's add duration. Yeah. Let's add duration of one. You can adjust it. Now we'll receive children here. For TypeScript user, you have to add types for it. We'll add a type only. Oh. No. No. Cat. Dot. Cat. And for JavaScript user, you can skip this part from uh, from colon. To here this will work just fine this will look something like this and work fine uh, now we need to use children here this will animate children just copy this template and let's go to our layout file uh, wrap
grab hold of them. Let's see if our condition was working. Yeah, did you see? Let's refresh it. Let's try to go to about page. Contact about. That's how you add transitions in Next.js project. Thanks, guys.